Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to import video directly off a DVD into Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Now, this works for most versions of Sony Vegas Movie Studio, including the latest version, Movie Studio 12 and 13. It's pretty easy to do, but before we get started, I want you to know that you should only do this when you have permission to copy video off a DVD. And in some cases, if the DVD is copy protected, you won't be able to import the video. Now let me show you how to do it. First thing you want to do is put the DVD in your computer. Make sure that your computer recognizes it's there. And then in Sony Vegas Movie Studio, click Project. And in most cases, what you do is you would select Import Media. And if you click Import Media, and then look at your DVD drive, you'll see there's two folders on the DVD. One's the audio folder, one's the video folder. And if you click the video folder, you notice that nothing shows up. Even if you go over here and tell it to show you all file types, They'll show up, but when you try to import them, you'll generally get an error message. But in some cases you want, and you'll be able to import the video. So that file import is completed. It took about five minutes just to import that small segment of the DVD. But if we play it, it'll play just like a normal DVD. Now it won't have the DVD buttons on it or the DVD menu, but it'll have the audio and the video from the DVD. And there it starts right there. And then there's the DVD. Now, in some cases, you're able to import video and audio off a DVD like that. Again, the way we did it is we went Project, Import Media. Down here, we changed all media files to All Files. And then in All Files, we selected the VOB files. The VOB files are the video files off the DVD. Now, when you do import a VOB file, it'll automatically import the corresponding audio file for that. But you'll see there's a number of VOB files here. This DVD has got three of those, so each one of those would have to be imported. Now, another way to do this is to go to Project and then come down to where it says Import DVD Camcorder Disc and select that. And when the Import from DVD Camcorder Disc window opens, you choose the source where your DVD is. And I actually have a DVD in the drive here. And it's asked me where to put that. And the reason it's asking me where to put that is because it knows it's going to be a fairly large file. It's going to be at least three, maybe four gigabytes. So we're going to choose it to put it in our project file. And then we click OK. And you can see the timer start here. Now on a DVD that's 60 or 70 minutes long, it's going to take anywhere from five to eight, maybe 10 minutes to import that DVD. And before you import it, make sure that you've got plenty of hard drive space on your computer because it will be a large file. So we're going to let this import and we'll see what it looks like. Now the importing of the video file from the DVD is taking quite a while. Right now we're 98% and it's taken almost seven minutes to import that. It's going to show up in our project media bin in a moment. And there it is. You can see that it imported as a number of separate files. And that's because this particular DVD was a number of separate files. It's broken out each one of them individually. Because this DVD was made by chapters, we can run each chapter individually or we can bring them all on the timeline at the same time. Now this file here is the first one that we imported and then here are the rest of them. So let's delete this one we put on the timeline and then bring up a couple of the ones that we've just imported. Now if we play these again, it's going to play just like it was on the DVD. We click play and there it is in the DVD window over here. And we can jump around to any point in the DVD and play parts of the DVD. So anyway, that's the process to import video directly from a DVD into Sony Vegas Movie Studio. You can either click Project, Import Media, change it to All Files and try to import the VOB files or use the other way, which is a little bit easier, and that's just to come down and where it says Import DVD Camcorder Disc, and click that and then choose the disc to import. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in knowing how to do this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.